I think it's a good thing because those people need to be caught and dealt with. Busted with his pants down at a place where families walk with their kids. But deputies say David Keppel's creepy crime isn't the first at Charlotte Flatwoods Environmental Park. Thanks for watching NBC2. I'm Peter Bush. And I'm Lisa Spooner. Deputies have sent detectives undercover to catch the illegal action in the park. Sure enough, they did. NBC2's Joseph Ojo revisited the scene of the crime where people visiting the park say they've had enough. Park goers here at Charlotte Flatwoods Environmental Park tell me this park is a hotbed for creepy illegal activities. Earlier this year, the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office told NBC2 that's why deputies started undercover operations here. And sure enough, just yesterday, they caught David Keppel exposing his privates and he even touched an undercover detective. It was anything from a walk in the park at the Charlotte Flatwoods Environmental Park. Well, I'd rather see an alligator than another person because to, to me, they're more scary. An undercover detective with the Charlotte County Narcotics Unit didn't find drugs, but a man in broad daylight touching himself. Oh, that's that's a sad thing but it's a reflection on society now. It was yesterday morning. The detective spotted David Keppel. He says his legs were spread, his pants were unzipped, and he was touching himself. I think it's a good thing, because those people need to be caught and dealt with. But it didn't end there. Keppel then asked the detective to, quote, come over here, as he continued to touch himself inappropriately. And when the detective came closer, things only escalated. Keppel grabbed the detective without his consent and asked him, quote, how about you? That's when the detective called for backup and law enforcement moved in and arrested Keppel. I'd like to say I can't believe that happens, but I see it and hear about it and read about it far too often. This isn't the first incident at the park. Back in April, Charlotte County deputies told NBC2 about their plan to conduct undercover operations. It came after several loot incidents had been reported, and tonight, park goers tell me they are sick of this. That shouldn't be happening. That kind of stuff shouldn't be going on. I mean, this is a family place, and it should be a place where it's safe to bring your family and friends and everything else out to enjoy nature. And Keppel has since bonded out. He is facing battery charges and exposure of his sexual organs. In Charlotte County, Joseph Ojo, NBC2.